Yo guys, really quick before the video starts, according to YouTube's analytics, 98% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, which is like, what are you doing, bro? Just hit the button. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I wanted to share with you guys how to capture a snapping turtle, whether uh, you're trying to catch one to donate it to your museum, or maybe you're just trying to catch a bunch and, and make a lot of money off of them. Uh, they are pretty profitable. If you sell them at Nook's Cranny, they're worth 5,000 bells. However, if you sell them to CJ, they're 7,500. So uh, it's definitely worth doing that if you have the opportunity to do so. But the snapping turtle is found in the northern hemisphere between april uh, and october so as of right now you'll find them everywhere uh, if you're in the southern hemisphere however you'll find them in the opposite months between november and march uh, they're not extremely rare they're pretty easy to find uh, they're going to be located in rivers so if you're searching in ponds or the ocean you're not going to be able to catch one so make sure that you are looking along the riverside there's a couple different ways you can go about finding these they have medium shadows generally the biggest shadow that you will find in the river uh, between this and and the black bass those are generally the big shadows that you're going to find um, and you'll get more black bass and you do snapping turtles unfortunately but it's always worth going after them uh, the first way that you can do this is just by going up and down the river at night uh, keep in mind that you're only going to find these guys between 9 p.m and 4 a.m so you're probably going to have a few late nights if you're going after snapping turtles uh, anytime before those hours or after those hours they're not going to be catchable so make sure that it is at least 9 p.m uh, and not past 4 a.m so that you do make sure that you have the chance to catch these but but generally the first way is to just walk up and down alongside uh, the river and look for the big fish shadows i wouldn't necessarily waste time going after the small fish if unless your entire river is just filled with small fish you can capture them to kind of uh, take them out and give yourself a new spawn uh, but generally what i was doing is just walking back and forth along the riverside and manage to catch one pretty quick. Uh, another thing that you can do that tends to work pretty well uh, is to use clams uh, and create fish bait. Uh, you can get yourself a ton of fish bait, go to one specific spot in the river and just keep casting the fish bait, catching whatever fish pops up. And you'll know that if you get a, a large shadow, even though technically it's a medium in the, in the river, it's basically a large, um, you guys will have obviously a great opportunity of catching one. Uh, they're not too difficult. If it grabs your uh, line generally with some of the bigger fish in the water, especially the sharks in the ocean, uh, if you don't, you know, if you don't press A immediately, uh, you're not going to capture it. The turtle doesn't seem to be too difficult to catch. So if you struggle a little bit, your t your timing's a little delayed. Do not worry. You should still be able to ca capture these guys with no issue. But uh, these guys are awesome. Again, 5,000 bells to sell at Nook's Cranny, 7,500 to CJ. Um, but that is essentially how you're going to be able to catch a snapping turtle. If you guys have any questions or anything else to add about the snapping turtle or the specific, specific video, please make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to try to help some of you guys out. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.